Okay, crumble cookies. We all know and love them, right? That's why we're here on this video. But if you happen to click on this video and you don't know what crumble cookies are, basically they created this empire of like six or seven rotating flavors of cookies each week that have like 800 plus calories each but they're delicious and people are obsessed with them, including me. So in a previous video, I made three different flavors of crumble cookies, but healthier versions. We're gonna do that again, but I made a new and improved recipe. Hi, if you're new here, I'm Amanda, AKA Fit Food AE. And today we're gonna be making three flavors of high protein, low calorie, copycat versions of crumbles cookies. So today our three flavors are pumpkin chocolate chip, brownie sundae, and banana bread. I wanted to keep a couple of them on the fall theme here. So if you're excited to see me make these crumble cookie copycats, please give this video a like, subscribe, and share it with your friends as it really helps the channel and I post new videos every week. And with that, let's get started. So for our first flavor, we've got pumpkin chocolate chip. This is actually one of the lower calorie flavors when I looked it up on crumble. I mean, it makes sense because it doesn't have any frosting or anything, but obviously I still made a version with much lower calories and higher protein. So I'm gonna tell you about the first time, actually the only time I've visited crumble cookies. So crumble only recently opened in BC in British Columbia, Canada, which is where I live. They opened up a location in Port Coquitlam Sometime in the summer, I think it was like a few months ago. So anyway, I dragged, well, I say drag, but he wanted to go. Um, I brought my boyfriend to the Porco Quitlam location. So basically rented an Evo, which is like a rental car thing here in BC. And we drove, I think with traffic, it was like an hour from his place in Vancouver to Port Coquitlam. And we saw the line and it honestly didn't really look that bad. We were like, oh, okay, whatever. Like, we'll just wait, maybe it'll be like 30 minutes. But then as we were waiting in the line, we realized it moved really, really slowly. And I remember that like Crumble makes their cookies fresh to order. So it's not like they're just slinging cookies from the back and they just have like a bunch. Cause I, originally I thought like, okay, they only have those like six flavors for a reason to make it faster. No, they're still making them like, you know, one by one. And that's why they taste so good. Cause they're so fresh. But yeah, that line that didn't look very long took forever to move. But at that point, like we were already locked in. We already driven from Coco Pit Lom, and I was like, I really want to try these. I don't want us to turn back. So we ended up waiting two and a half hours in line to get these cookies. And was it worth it? Of course, of course it was worth it. I can't quite remember what the flavors were, but I remember my absolute favorite was the like standard milk chocolate or like chocolate chunk cookie. So yeah, this is basically like the pumpkin version of that. And it's so good. I've heard like the crumble locations in the US, obviously most of them don't have as long of a line because you can get crumble pretty much anywhere. Like when I was in Arizona, I remember I saw a crumble and there was literally no one there. I hope that at some point the BC location is like that. And I hope that they open more locations closer to me because I would love to go again, but would I make a whole evening out of it again? Probably not. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this pumpkin chocolate chunk cookie as much as I did. So next up, we've got the brownie sundae flavor. By the way, guys, for all these cookies, I'm using pea science protein, of course. This is a whey casein blend. I haven't tested this recipe with just whey protein. But if you do, let me know. If you do decide to purchase from pea science, please use my discount code FIT15. For that first recipe, I used the pumpkin flavor. That's gonna be coming out sometime this month. For this recipe, I use chocolate truffle. Chocolate truffle is one of my favorite flavors. When I was deciding which flavors to make for this video, again, I also wanted to keep a little bit on the fall theme since we're in September and all, but I came across this page on TikTok that was like crumble cookie spoilers. Cause basically, you know how they only come out with like six or seven flavors each week and they rotate. There's this TikTok account that like spoiled the flavors that were coming up. So I used a couple of the flavors that were coming up soon, just cause I was like, oh, maybe if people see it in the store and you know, it has this many calories and they're on a fitness journey, they maybe want to recreate a healthier version at home. This brownie sundae flavor, it looked difficult to make, but it actually wasn't that hard. Cause it was just like the cookie, the frosting, and then the melted chocolate and sprinkles on top. If you look at the actual brownie sundae cookie from Crumble, it looks almost identical, except the, I didn't add like a maraschino cherry on top. I was just too lazy, guys. I didn't want to buy a whole thing of maraschino cherries just for this, just to use one. I do like them though, but I knew I wouldn't use them. The week that I went to crumble, the flavors that I got were all really good. Like I rated them at least over a seven out of 10. 
but some weeks I've seen that they don't actually have a cookie. It's like a pie or like a cake. And again, I'm going to crumble to get cookies. So I kind of hate that it's not like every week they have the assortment of six cookies. There is the option of getting like four cookies or just getting one. But like, again, if I'm waiting in that line. If I'm driving all the way to Port Coquitlam, you bet I'm getting six. People are like astounded to see how many calories the full ones have. But if you get them, they're actually, first of all, they're really, really big. Like, I remember my boyfriend and I, we took one bite of each one, like of all six. And after that, we were like full as if we ate like a meal. So they're really, really big and also dense. And they're also really sweet. And I have a sweet tooth like no other. So that's saying a lot coming from me. And now we're done. I hope you guys enjoy the brownie sundae cookie. And for our last flavor, we've got the banana bread cookie. So yes, guys, this is an actual cookie. It's not just like banana bread in a circular shape. So I wanna tell you guys a few important tips that will help you with all these recipes. Please listen to these tips. Otherwise, I'm gonna hear you guys complaining in the comments. And I was gonna say I don't want that, but even if you do complain in the comments, it's fine. I'll just respond to them. So firstly, after you mix the dough together, make sure to store it in the fridge for 30 minutes. The reason for this is to make sure it doesn't spread out as much when baking because you want a cookie and not a pancake. So make sure to store the dough in the fridge for 30 minutes. Secondly, listen to the bake time that I put on the screen. I believe each cookie bakes for around like nine minutes. Don't over bake it, otherwise the cookie's gonna be dry. And then after you bake it, you're gonna let it cool for 20 minutes. And again, the reason I say this is because it continues to like bake slash harden after you take it out. So if you see that it's like a little bit mushy, just trust the process, just leave it there. And then finally, another reason you have to wait for it to cool for the two cookies that have frosting is because you wanna frost it when the cookie is cool. So you frost it when the cookie's warm, the frosting is just gonna fall off and it's not gonna be great. So yeah, listen to all those tips and you guys will have a great crumble cookie. By the way, comment below if there's any other flavors of crumble you wanna see, because I definitely wanna make more follow-up videos after this. And now you're done. Hope you guys enjoyed this banana bread cookie. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then I'm sure you're looking for more cookie recipes. So I'll link a couple of videos here that you should watch next. As I mentioned before, please leave a comment down below. And let me know what other crumble cookie videos you wanna see next or just like video ideas in general. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe and share it with your friends. As it really helps the channel and I post new videos every week. And with that, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.